What do you do in a time of drought? There's no getting around. This is a time of economic drought. And this summer when the Lord spoke to me so clearly, teach the people what to do in a time of drought. So I'm trying to be obedient to what the Lord's shown me. Right out of 1 Kings 17, they were going through a time of drought. And if you're listening right now, you're like, James, it's been our worst year financially ever. James, we're, we're praying. We're, it's tough. It's tight, tighter than it's ever been. What do I do? What do I do? Well, here's what you don't do. Don't stop giving. Don't stop praying. Don't stop seeking the Lord. Um, the way out of drought is through generosity and faith not through hoarding and withholding. Maybe the gift that you give to walk in the word at the end of this year is the most important gift you've ever given because you need to express your faith. You need to step out and say, God, we trust you. You're gonna get us through this. And this is our tangible expression of confidence in you. I feel like Paul, I covet that gift for your sake, for the fruit that will abound to your account. Stand with us this year, express your faith, generosity, that's the way out of a time of drought.